Horsey rides. Kids love horses. Great idea having Patrick play pony. I'll charge these kids ten bucks a ride and cash in big time. Oh, I don't know, Mr. Krabs. I think Patrick will only let me ride him. Oh, nonsense. Pony rides and buckaroos. <laughs> well, actually, SpongeBob, uh, there's two words. And they're not very good. You're fired. Oh, <laughs> Mr. What? Fired? Well, you see, uh, I've been doing some calculating and, you know, crunching the old numbers. And, and it turns out that I'll save a whole nickel if I cut your salary. Completely. But, 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 how about if I work for free? Yeah, I looked into that. Apparently, it's illegal. Well, paintings can become much more valuable when the artist is no longer with us. You know, out of the picture. Ah! Out of the picture, eh? I think I can arrange that. Artist walking, check me out. Check this out. We have a delivery for you, Mr. Squidward. The Arctic is so cold. <laughs> Come on, Squidward. You're a strong artist. You can do it. No! You have been found guilty of willful cheap skatery and flagrant trash flinging. Your sentence is to collect all the garbage in Bikini Bottom using that. All right, you heard the inspectors. Get to picking up that trash. But it was your punishment. I like to think of it as our punishment. And by ours, I mean yours. Now get going. Nice work, boy. -o. Very prison. -y. Hey, uh, what's with all the caged men in here? They're making me a little nervous. Oh, uh, well, we're a prison-themed restaurant now. Do your time with our new prison patty. It's served in a solitary confinement box, has its own prisoner number, and even comes with toy shackles. Here we go. I give you Krabby Land. Everything in our power to bring those customers back. We'll triple the prices! Mr. Krabs, if we want to get customers in here, shouldn't we lower the prices? Fine. What is my future? Ah, my tentacles are gonna fall off if I don't get a break soon, Mr. Krabs! Ay, 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 ay. Ooh, just in time. Squidward, thanks for keeping an eye on me little Pearl tonight. No problem. Remember our deal, Squidward. Keep Pearl out of trouble, and I'll give you one huh? shift a week without SpongeBob. But if anything happens to my little angel... <laughs> oh, who gives a flying fish about mustard? <gasps> Squidward! Without mustard, I wouldn't be able to make a... Krabby Patty! That's right! You're both here by order to go down into the mustard mines! And bring me back more mustard! Careful now. Hey, you guys put in a drive through We did? Great! I'll have three large Krabby Patties, Krabby Fries, a Krabby Cola, and two extra large orders of Krabby Rings. Is this toothpaste? Boy, I don't know how I think of this stuff, but I think I got a winner. We are putting in a drive through Oh! Sounds like a lot of extra work to me. You mean for you. Step right up, folks. Take a ride on the Krusty Sponge Fun Train. Tickets are only $1.98. See, buff's not included. Oh, there, Jenkins. Me? Pull in your plow. I'm here to pay me grocery bill. Jenkins here supplies all the Krusty Krabs farm fresh ingredients. 
Yeah, I expect to be paid for him. Well, funny you should mention that. SpongeBob here will be your farmhand until me bill's paid off. SpongeBob, you're cooking a fancy pants dinner for me and Mrs. Pop. I came prepared, Mr. Krabs. Whoa! Me daughter Pearl will be our server tonight. <gasps> How sweet. Oh. <sighs> Now you just relax, Puffkins, while I consult with me very expensive private chefs. <laughs> All right, hurry up, you cheap slop slingers. Get the dinner on the table. <laughs> oh, Mr. Krabs, I didn't see you there. How thoughtful of you to visit me in my <laughs> weakened stay. Oh, you are in no condition to be alone. That's why I brought you some help. Take one of these and call me in the morning. The doctor is in. <laughs> really, Mr. Krabs, this isn't necessary. Of course it is. If I find out you were faking it, just to get out of work, I'd have to fire you. Oh, no faking here. No, I'm really <laughs> sick. Detain a non-stop service! Mr. Krabs, can I go home yet? No one goes home! Look at these bags under my eyes! Even my bags have bags! <laughs> Quit your belly aching, Squidward. You don't hear SpongeBob complaining, do ya? K-R-A-B-B-Y-P-A-T-D-Y says I. I'm having an antique sale. Have a look around. Hey, Patrick, look at this thing. Pretty cool, huh? That looks like the toilet plunger I threw out yesterday. That ain't no toilet plunger. This here's an antique. It's a, um, uh, right, a 17th century soup ladle. See? Man, was I using mine wrong. I have x-ray vision. I can see through walls. Calm your waters, lad. I just knocked it down. I, uh, um, why'd you do that? In the restaurant business, it's called an open kitchen. So the customers can watch the cook cook. Oh, Mr. Krebs, I don't know if I can take that kind of pressure. Nonsense. You're a born performer. Here's your check, and here's yours, SpongeBob. I can't accept your money, Mr. Krabs. Grilling is my passion. What is this? You're making me pay you to stand at the cash register? What is the meaning of this? Have you gone off the deep end? There's gonna be a few changes around here. Every time I catch you two goofing off, I'm gonna charge you for it. Wow, what happened to the Krusty Krab? Good morning. <laughs> the Krusty Towers is now open for business. Welcome to the Krusty Towers, where our motto is, we shall never deny a guest even the most ridiculous request. Oh, that's great. I'd like a double Krabby Patty with no onions and extra pickles. If you want a Krabby Patty, you'll have to rent a room and order room service. You want excitement? What if I added a box? Huh? Huh? Sort of the same, really. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, so what if he flopped from two boxes? Uh, into uh, green pie. I like pie. Say now. That I say to say. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, okay, boy, let him in. Uh, wait till you see this. Hey, Artie SpongeBob. Sandy, what are you doing down here? I'm moonlighting as a molecular gastronomist. What? I'm all out of in the gas and water list. Eugene here is paying me to science up his menu. Look, I'm in a hurry. Do you have this special project? Well, it's a work in progress. Mm -hmm. huh. There it is, your new patty. Wait, no, you can't improve the Krabby Patty. It's perfect perfection that cannot be perfected upon. Yeah, right, Sansa takes the time. Make me 200 of these pronto. I'll take this old roadside stand off your hands for keeps. And in exchange, I'll give you the crusty crab. With Squidward, the grill, and all those squeaky pickles, Pretty Patties is now under no management. Who's next? I am. I am over here. Is it cold in here? 
Or is it just me? Well, get to work. What? Hi, I'm Mr. Krabby. Wow. Ah. wow, that looks like fun. I'll have two Krabby Patties, but don't cook them. I'll have two frozen Krabby Patties, too. It's beautiful. I'm selling twice as many patties, and I don't even have to cook them. What's happening to your critter there? I'm not sure, but whenever he does that, he finds change. Change? As in legal tender? Yeah, watch. Say, SpongeBob, why don't you ever bring your little Sneagle to work with you? There you go, bring in that change! <laughs> A visit from the Yeti Crab. The Yeti Crab? Yeah! Everybody's heard of the abominable Yeti Crab with his long white hair and six-pack abs and yellow teeth. And everybody knows that he only comes out of his mountain cave to feed on lazy workers. He's attracted to the scent. He can smell your lazy, lazy stench from hundreds of miles away. I got some fresh ingredients for our new Krabby Soup. A half-eaten Krabby Patty. Two moldy pickles. And some smashed potatoes that look like Squidward. Mr. Krabs, did you get those ingredients from the trash? <gasps> of course not! That wouldn't be legal. I intercepted these items on their way to the trash. I want everybody in Bikini Bottom to buy my soup. Yuppies, guppies, puppies. Hippies? Hippies. <laughs> there. So, uh, how big is this thing supposed to get? Hey, who cares? It's an endless supply of free patties. Through the wonders of automation, this factory can make as many Krabby Patties in one minute as you used to make in a week. Take a win for the future, Krabs. Does it smell like money? Oh, yeah! Off of your duff, boy! You think I spent all last night assembling this printing press so you could laze around all day? From now on, you'll be twice as busy. And I expect you to wear two hats. Because along with your usual fry cooking duties, you're my lead reporter for the new Krabby Chronicle. Well, according to my research, a full 2% of the population of Bikini Bottom has never set foot in the Krusty Krab. That's 2% of money that's not in me pocket. And when I think about that 2%, I get so mad! When I see that 2%, I think of pie. I'm not talking about pie! These holdouts are probably spending their money at some other restaurant. We need to find that 2% and reel them in. I need you two boys to get out there and promote the Krusty Krab! <laughs> Oh, what is this horrible place? Gitchy, gitchy, goo. Uh, uh, uh -huh. What kind of monster is responsible for this horror? That's it, boys. Keep that gelatinous gold a flowing. I, 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 I. Listen to this. Individuation of the end user will substantially broaden the probability of multiple subsequent visits, generating an inverse negative revenue margin of three quarters of a half of one percent. Meaning, if you call the customers by their name, they keep coming back to spend more of their greenbacks. So I want you two to learn the names of every customer. Here you go, Squidward. Now what? Oh, you're gonna love this. Spongy patties! Spongy patties? Yeah, I want you to start using them instead of the other ones. Where'd you get them? They were just the boxes of patties we didn't have room for in the freezer. They turned yellow. Gotta keep those SpongeBob ice cubes somewhere, you know? Step right up, folks, and witness a spellbinding tail truck full of adventure and action and thrill! 
You know, I'm not really hungry. Yeah, let's go see what this fat guy is yelling about. You know, Boyo, at first, I thought you were just being a lily-livered, spineless, crybaby, scaredy-pants, invertebrate loser. But this rooftop restaurant of yours really has me business booming. But it's gonna take a lot more than a suitcase full of cash to buy the crusty crab from me. Oh, there's a lot more than that. The rest is over there. Jumping King Neptune! <laughs> Sold! Give me my money! Just one thing. If you could sign this contract, it just states that you relinquish the Krusty Krab and all proprietary ownership thereof, along with its employees, merchandise, logos, and cash registers. Do I still get the money? Of course. That'll be fine, then. 